Good morning and happy Sabbath. Today is a very special day because the children, the Pathfinders and Adventurers, will be taking over the sermon for today. So our call to worship is taken from Psalm 100, and it says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God and this he who hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and unto his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. Amen. Amen. And the peop- I'm Zara, and the people officiating with me is, this is Malcolm, and Robbie, and Emma, and this is Mackenzie. Now we call on to the praise team to give us their song. Good morning and happy Sabbath. To start our song service, let us sing, I'm in the Lord's Army. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never zoom on the enemy, but I song, let us sing, Join My Heart. Thank you. 
For our opening song, let us all stand and sing hymn 499, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. Let's all stand. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Our scripture reading for today is Psalm chapter 103, verse 12. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Amen. Good morning, Happy Sabbath. Today's offerings for Adventist Community Services. People come in all shapes and sizes, and so do their needs. Adventist Community Services offer diverse services tailored to fit the needs of the vulnerable in their community. David walks into Joseph Storehouse Food Pantry and ACS Center in Oklahoma. The staff soon learned that he had recently been released from prison and was saving money to rent an apartment. At the time, he was living in a tent near a creek just outside of the town and had no way to cook. David chose food that was ready to eat out of the package. Realizing that more was needed, a volunteer invited him back the next day to pick up cooking items. The volunteer went shopping for items they didn't have at the center, and soon David received a small cook stove, fuel, can opener, and cookware. When he returned, Aceus continued to assist David with food when he runs low and prays for his safety and for God's continued presence. Whether giving food and cooking gear, dental care, clothing, after school tutoring, or English language skills, your Aceus offering paves the pathway forward for somebody in need. Ellen White shared, the Savior mingled with men as one who desired their good. He showed them sympathy for them ministered to their need and won their confidence. Then he bade, follow me. Ministry of Healing, page 143. Adventist Community Services Ministry mingle in our communities, bringing Jesus' goodwill to the people. Join us and become the practical hands and feet of God in our world. Let's have a prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, there are lots of people today who are in daring need of our support. There are people in the hospitals, on the streets, 
in tents and war-prone areas. Please help us remember these people so we can give enough to support them in these hard times. Amen. Amen. call Shadera up for children's feature. Good morning, church. So this week, I got a new tool. It's a so this week, I got a new tool. It's a brand new tape. So I've had great times measuring with it. With the tape, you can measure the length and height of something. For example, who knows the length of the piano? Anyone? Five okay, five centimeters in length. What of the height of the piano? It's about 10 cm in height. So, you, so you can measure how um, the length and height of something. For example, what about the chair? Who has an example of the length of the chair? Okay, three centimeters. What of the height? Okay, one centimeter in height. So with 
with a tape, you can measure about anything. You can, with a set of skills, you can measure, you can measure the, how heavy someone or something is. What about a thermometer? Do you know there's something you call called an odometer? It's you could tell how the meters your car are going. What about a speedometer? You could tell the the how fast your car is going. But there's something you can measure. God's love for us. In Jeremiah 31, 3, it says, I have had an everlasting love for you, and you should pass it on to others. So you could not just um, measure something that's way too big, that goes on forever. Also, we can measure Jesus' love. He laid his life for us, so that's something we can measure, but we can certainly thank him. So, Father Lord, thank you for giving us your love and laying your son for us to redeem us from sin. Amen. I now call the Pathfinders and Adventurers to do the Pathfinder Adventure Anthems. Now I call the Pathfinders and Adventurers to do their choreography. <laughs>
welcome everyone to this special moment where we, as Pathfinder Adventurers, gather to reflect upon the profound significance of the laws governing our society. As children of God, we are guided by divine principles, understanding that adherence to these laws is, is pivotal for maintaining order and fostering a harmonious community. Join us now in the se next session as we recite and explain the Pathfinder and Adventure Law. I call up Malcolm now. Hello everyone. Today I'll be telling you what the Pathfinder Law is all about. The law is for me to keep the morning watch, do my honest part, care for my body, keep a level eye, be courageous and obedient, walk softly in sanctuary, keep a song in my heart, go on God's errands. Keep the morning watch. This means spending some quiet time with God every day and reading a little bit from the Bible. It's like having a special chat with a good friend. Do my honest part. It's about helping others and doing the best wherever we are. Care for my body. This means taking care of ourselves by eating healthy, doing healthy things, and staying active. Savior. Hi everyone, my name is Sylvia Kipeleva. This means don't I like cheat or bad things. Instead, we have tried to be truthful, honest, and think about good things. Be careful and, and obedient, being nice and, and kind to others is super important. We try to be truthful and loving just like Jesus was. Walk softly in the sanctuary, this means be calm and respectful during a prayer time or when you're talking to God. Redemptor. Yadon. Hello everyone, my name is Yadon and I'm and I'm here to tell you about Adventure Law because it's a very special guide to help us believe in Jesus. Jesus can help us to be obedient and be pure, be true, be kind, be respectful, be attentive, be faithful, be cheerful, be reverent. Be obedient. This means we must always obey our parents, God's laws, the country laws, and the teacher. To be true. We must never lie because lying is a sin and we must always tell the truth even if it might get us in trouble and be pure. We must refrain from alcohol, smoking, and bad words, and anything else that harms us because our body is special to God. Amen. Amen. Mark Jello. Hi everyone, my name is Mark Jello. Be kind, we love making others happy. We never want to hurt anyone or any animal. Sharing our toys is super cool too. Be respectful. I will be conscious to those whom God put an authority over me, like my parents, and to those who are younger and weaker than me, like brother. I will take good care of others' property, even something as small as a bottle of pencil. 
Amen. Hello, everyone. My name is Mackenzie. Be attentive. When someone talks to us, we listen, whether it's at home, school, or at church. Especially, we especially listen for God's guidance in our lives. Be helpful. I will look for ways to help and not wait to be asked. I can help family at home, teachers and friends at school, and others in my community. Rob. Hi everyone, my name is Rob. Be cheerful, no grumbling or complaining. Knowing God made us makes us happy, even when things don't go our way or when we have work to do. Be thoughtful. Being polite is our thing. We're nice with our words and actions, never rude or annoying. And lastly, I call Zara. Yeah. Hi, everyone. My name is Zara. Ten, be, a, be, re, be attentive, right? Be reverent. This means following God's laws and those who tell us about him and never making fun of anyone and always keeping our church stuff and Bible stuff well. And if we follow this amazing rules, we can be awesome pathfinders and adventurers. Now, I, now for a special performance, I call up Amazing Z and D.
Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful Sabbath day that we could all come together to worship you. We pray that you will be with everyone who is here in person and with those listening in. We thank you for this Pathfinder and Adventurer who participated in the service. May they all receive a blessing from sharing your love. Love, thank you for the leaders and the parents who helped us with the service. I come before you with excitement and a little bit of nervousness in my heart. Thank you for the special oppor opportunity to share your love and message with everyone today. I ask if you, I ask for your guidance, gu guidance and strength. May your words be the ones who flow through me, reaching the hearts of everyone here. Help me to share your love, kindness, and wonderful things you do for us every day. May this message bring joy, hope, and encouragement to everyone listening. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.
Good morning, everyone. Happy Sabbath. I hope you had a great week. To those who didn't, I hope this week is better for you. Who knows what this is? That's right, it's a calendar. We all have one at home. If not, paper form, maybe on our phones or computers. Calendars are super handy. They help us remember important things like holidays, appointments, and my favorite birthdays. But what happens when a calendar gets old and all the dates have passed? It becomes kind of useless, doesn't it? You see, this old calendar is a bit like our past. There are moments in our lives that we wish we could just erase, times when we made mistakes or did things we regret. If this calendar showed all the mistakes I made, I'd be pr probably a little shy to share it with you. I bet some of you feel the same way about your mistakes. But you know what's interesting about calendars? When the new year comes around, what do people do with old ones? They eventually get thrown away. Why? Because they're inspired. Just like the past dates, they become completely useless. But here's something cool. When we believe in Jesus, something amazing happens. The Bible tells us that when we are saved, Jesus takes away our mistakes. It's like he's erasing them from the calendar. There's a verse in the Bible, Psalms 103, verse 12, that says, He has removed our sins as far from us as the east is from the west. Such wonderful news from the, from the Bible. Guess what? There's more. In 1 John 1, verse 9, the Bible tells us that if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Isn't that amazing? All we need to do is regret our actions, confess, and promise not to go back to them. And God forgives us right away. No catch. So here's the big lesson from the, our calendar. Just like we throw away old calendars, we can let go of our past mistakes. Let Jesus worry about your mistakes, and he'll certainly take them away, just like an old inspired calendar. Remember, friends, the mistakes from yesterday don't have to stay with us today. Jesus is here to help us start fresh, like a brand new calendar. Isn't that awesome? Let's pray and thank Jesus for taking away our mistakes and giving us a fresh start. Dear God, thank you for this beautiful Sabbath and for bringing us all together to learn more about your love and grace. Today we talked about mistakes and how sometimes we wish we could just erase them, like old dates on a calendar. God, we know that all of us make mistakes. We do things we wish we hadn't, and sometimes we feel ashamed or embarrassed about them. But we are grateful for your promise, and that, and when we believe in Jesus, we take away, he takes away our mistakes, just like an old, old calendar that's no longer needed. Help us, Lord, to remember this amazing truth. Help us to let go of things we've done wrong. Help us to accept our wrongs and be willing to confess them. Thank you for forgiving us and giving us a fresh start every day in Jesus. Every day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. To close, this, to close our service this morning, let us sing Onward Christian Soldiers, hymn 612. Let's all stand.
Pastor Steve to do benediction. Before the benediction, I would like to say thank you very much, Adventures, Pathfinders. Thank you, parents. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you, advisors, Mackenzie. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you very much. God bless our children and young people also. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, <clears throat> give us your blessing, my Lord. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one, uh, one another in accord with Christ Jesus, that together we may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the God of hope fill you and your family with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the Holy Spirit. The blessing of God be with you and your family. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you.